everybody, I'm standing in my driveway. It's like 1030 at night. Um, it's the winter, but it's only 32 degrees, so I'm feeling good. And I have only a couple days left with the Unicellar EV Scope 2. They sent this to me to borrow, and it's this really cool $4,000 telescope, but it has been so cold and so blizzardy, I've been able to use it. And um, and you should know where I'm at. Look at all the streetlights, right? See the streetlights, the streetlights, and I'm in the city. Uh, so this is gonna be an amazing test. And here it is, it's right here. It is beautiful. Uh, it is not too cold tonight. I tried this one other night and I did it so quickly and I was so freezing, but tonight it's like perfect. It's a little cloudy. So this is gonna be, again, just a perfect experiment to see exactly how this works. And I will tell you that the quick start guide was great, but you got to do everything. Uh, screw the quick start guide, go through the manual. We have to go through the whole thing one step by step. You want to do a quick turn on, you want to focus it, and then you just want to have fun and explore and see what you can see. So let's get to this. The first thing I need to do is I'm in my driveway and I'm going to like show you here. Like literally this is in my driveway. My truck is behind me. There's, there's my truck. I mean, this is, this is where I'm at. This is the worst case scenario. If you are a city dweller and this works, then this is the, this telescope for you. So it's got some charge already. I, I came charged. I haven't recharged it since then, but apparently it charges. But what I need to do is I need to take the top off. I need to aim it at a star. I need to focus it and then we can get started. I've already downloaded the app and oh my goodness, there's a plane overhead and you can hear somebody's wind chimes. This is, this is a worst case scenario. I'm in the city. All right, let's get to this. All right, the first thing I need was turn it on. All right, so let's press the button and voila, it's, it's on, that's it. Now I get to connect to it via Wi-Fi, and there is an eyepiece and I can look through the eyepiece, but I'm gonna use the app for everything, which means I'm gonna be back and forth between screenshotting from the app and actually like videoing, videoing. But the real trick to this is that you focus it down here after you've aimed at a star, and it's this over here where the magic happens, where I get to actually use the two different parts of this to sort of get the light to go through a certain way. So uh, I'm very excited. Let's get started. So I've turned on the telescope and I've turned on the app. And the first thing that I've done is I pointed at some stars and I said, hey, what stars are that? And what it's gonna try to do is it's gonna try to auto detect what stars it's looking at, what star field it's looking at. And then when it does that, it'll know which way it's pointing. So once it figures out which way it's pointing, then I have to point it to the brightest star and then I need to focus it using this. And once it's done, we should be able to see some really cool stuff. All right, so it's getting colder and it took forever because it's a cloudy night, but I had to go through and find some stars. And once it knew where the stars was, now the software, I tell it where to point and it points there. And it only works if there's no clouds and there's no wind and there's no houses and there's no whatever. So it's a fairly cloudy night. So what we're gonna see is what we're gonna see, but I'm gonna load up the software now so you can see what happens when I say point in that direction. We're gonna point to a nebula and see if it shows you anything. It's getting cold, I don't know how much long I'm gonna be out here because it's cold but I did get to see the moon and it was oh my goodness matter of fact the moon completely fills the telescope it is absolutely gorgeous It's so cold, it's so cold and it's so bright, but it's so cloudy, it's so cloudy. And I want you to see, this is where, this is literally what that's pointing to right now. It's pointing right up there where there's nothing in the sky. You can't see anything in the sky, but when you saw all those stars, it's because it was literally looking through the clouds. You could see some of the street lights, but I mean, if this, was, if this wasn't cloudy, the street lights be damned. This is amazing. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's trying to find a place in the night sky. I'm gonna do one more and then I wanna head in because it's getting really cold. Um, I really appreciate them for lending this to me. This is an awesome telescope. I would love to do a review in the summer. Now, my neighbors probably think it's pointing at their house, and for all I know, it is pointing at their house, so we'll see if this is a failure or not, but I'm trying to point the Flame Nebula right now. But you can see, this is how it does it automatically, which is pretty awesome. Now, it looks like it stopped, but now it's doing the micro precision movement until it's ready. It's pretty wild. 
Back to the app. So that Whirlpool Galaxy is right there. Where? That's the point. Look how cloudy and how bright it is in the night sky tonight. Literally, that's where my telescope was pointed. It's our neighbors. And it was able to see through all that and show you that. All right, I'm having so much fun. My phone is almost out of battery. It's so cold, it's so cloudy. And I just want to keep playing with it. I just want to keep seeing more. I can't imagine what this would be like on a clear summer night. Uh, please, please send it back to me on a clear summer night. Actually, uh, this is really, really awesome. I'm going to do one more, possibly. My fingers are getting so cold. Um, this is outstanding. There's nothing I can say except this is outstanding. Watching the whirlpool just appear seeing the stars and then watching over time and the world whirlpool beer is just amazing. This isn't about, you know, Hubble level stuff. That's not what this is about. This is about exploring, you know, the universe from your backyard. And it is awe-inspiring. It really, really is. I mean, this little device here, I am just mm, in love with this thing. So yes, I want one and you should get one. And we all should get one and explore the nice sky together. And that's what's really cool is when I'm done, I can actually choose to upload my data to their servers if I want to, which is pretty awesome. Well, that's it. That's what I'm pointing to. I've been gushing over this the entire time I've been using it. I am so cold, um, but this is awesome. This is truly an awesome device, and um, I will play with it another time if it gets a little bit warmer and a little bit, you know, clearer. Uh, but I have to say that this is truly an awesome device and worth every penny. Um, just again, I can't say how much I enjoyed this, and I am so cold right now and it's it's magic it is truly magical and um i'm gonna go inside but thanks for watching and uh yeah cool hey it's the next night and i just have to say it is warmed up it's like 50 degrees and it's solid cloud cover there's no way i can take the telescope out tonight uh maybe tomorrow <laughs>